Threads of Life uh, not only works with families across Canada who are living with the outcome of a fatal injury, we provide support to families who are living with ongoing life-altering injuries. Not just the worker, but particularly the family members. The workers often get the help they need from the medical system or from support from their union or their employer, but the family has been forever changed when a worker comes home without eyes or without a limb or is unable to uh, recall things because of a brain injury. We also support the families across Canada that are living with occupational disease. Approximately three Canadians die every day just by going to work or the result of going to work. In the late 1990s, CAW and all the unions, everyone involved in health and safety was looking at initiatives to decrease injuries to young workers. And how do we do that? Well, we do it by working together. And I was invited to be part of that. And Threads of Life came together with all the partners, all of the partners, government, unions, family members, employer groups. And together, we're making a difference for families and for workplace prevention across Canada. We help families mostly by having a peer support program. And uh, we provide um, the, our newsletter, our quarterly newsletter, and, uh, and our family forum. We have a weekend of workshops. They learn about investigations. They learn about the things that we never knew. We have a series of books to help families. So in your workplace, if you happen to have a family that's living with occupational disease, a life-altering injury, or the outcome of fatal injuries, please think about Threads of Life and what Threads of Life may be able to do to that family. I can tell you the first six months, they won't hear you. They're walking in grief, in shock. But sometime, just keep encouraging them. We also go to employers. We train family members to take their very personal story, just as I've taken the story of Tim. I would take that story and I would adapt it for your workplace. So that we open the ears of the workers and you do the health and safety training. We don't do the health and safety training. You do the health and safety training. We just give people the reason to listen and understand. We have a large network, as I've said before. How do families find threads of life? It's really hit and miss. We rely on folks like you. Help us, help us promote it. It's about awareness. It's about prevention. It's about decreasing the number of workers that we pay homage to each year. So I know that you can help out each and every one of you. You can help by promoting and the partnership and participate in Steps for Life. You can connect families to Threads of Life. You can plan or host a fundraising event. So there is a way for each and every one of you to support. And we have two lovely granddaughters Haley and Jocelyn learn about their Uncle Tim through the stories we tell. Haley just turned seven, but I can tell you that young lady has already had at least three political speeches. City of London uh, has a scholarship in Tim's name. and We went to do the presentation last year and she said to me, so Grandma, you are going to say something, right? Haley, I'll only get a few minutes. So, but she said, but Grandma, you know what you're going to tell them. I said, yes. And I said, Haley, did you want to say something? So what would you say, Haley? I would say, Mr. Mayor, I want you to make sure that all your workers come home safe at the end of each and every day. I want them to remember my Uncle Tim and how much we love him and miss him. A six-year-old. Talk about changing the culture of workplace safety. It's going to begin with our youth. A six-year-old can make a difference. I know you can too.